insanity is sweeping the country. Barely one week into his starting role with the New York Knickerbockers, Jeremy Lin is being touted as the big kahuna in New York team sports. Lucky for him, he didn't get his first start before the Super Bowl, or he'd have to share the headlines with another big kahuna, Eli Manning. Then there's the news of the passing of superhero Gary Carter, New York Mets great from the 80s, who succumbed to a nasty form of brain cancer less than a year after having been diagnosed. Images of Lynn and Carter appearing on the back pages tell a lot about the different eras in team sports. Carter's face is full of the joy and enthusiasm of youth and victory. I guess that's why they called him the kid. Lynn's expression is that of a warrior who has just vanquished his foe. Conquest is in his eyes as he screams and bares his teeth. It is the face of a killer who has just taken his prey. Now, what does this have to do with snow sports? When I started following extreme sports, the big news was the American snowboarders and the men's sweep of the Olympic podium at Salt Lake City. That was 2002. It was a look on 19-year-old Ross Power's face as he stood on that top step that said it all to me. Pride in his accomplishment, proud to represent his country, enthusiastic about what he had just done for his sport. That look was totally captivating. It pointed me in a direction that I have followed without any regrets ever since. Bill Russell, as fierce a competitor as ever laced up his high tops, said it all. Strange things happen when grown men play kids' games. Yep. We're off to New England and some great skiing for this holiday weekend. Video when we return. That's snow news for this week. Be well.